In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the area under a curve. After that, we're going to look at finding the area between two curves and then a few application problems. For each of these questions, I encourage you to use an online graphing utility as I have to graph the function for you or functions as we continue to progress through this topic. So as you can see, I've used Desmos to graph both f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 2, which is the parabola, the red line on the graph. And then I've also graphed x equals 0 and x equals 4, which are the blue and green lines. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find this area. So the area under the curve between those two points. So it's going to stop right here and stop right here, and stop right here. Now I can eyeball this and say, well, clearly there's four units in here, and four units in here, and just under four, and just under four, and you get the idea that I can have some idea of what the area under the curve will be, but obviously we want to do this mathematically. So mathematically what we're going to do is we're going to integrate from 0 to 4, which are our limits of integration. And we're going to integrate the entire function with respect to x. So obviously, this takes us back to Calc 1, doing um, a definite integral. So again, I'm going to integrate. So if I take negative x squared, I get negative x cubed over 3. If I take 4x, that's 4 times x squared over 2, which is just 2x squared. And then if I take 2, it's going to become 2x. Remember, I'm integrating from 0 to 4. And when we are integrating a definite integral, remember, we don't need the plus c. So from here, I'm now going to simply do the substitution by taking negative 4 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 4 squared plus 2 times 4 and then minus and I can see by plugging in 0 I'm going to get 0 plus 0 plus 0 so I'm not going to write all of that out so my solution is going to be basically me evaluating this um, expression. So the area 4 to the third power is 64. So I have negative 64 thirds. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. Plus 2 times 4 is 8. Again, minus 0. I don't need to write that. I get negative 64 thirds is negative 21 and 1 third. I'm adding to that 40. And so I can see that my area is going to be 18 and 2 thirds square units. And again, you can do all of that without a calculator. Just use your beautiful brain and figure it out. So it's about 18 and 2 thirds units. Notice this is a positive area. And again, that makes sense because I'm looking at an area that is above the x-axis. Let's try another example. Again, we are still just finding the area under the curve. Here, our function is a little bit different. Last time, we had a negative in front of that leading coefficient, which meant our parabola was upside down or um, pointed downward. In this case, we have 1 fourth x squared minus x plus 2. So that 1 fourth makes our parabola wider. But again, because it's positive, notice the parabola is pointing upwards. Again, we're using the limits of integration between 0 and 4. So again, if I were to fill in this space, and I encourage you to do that, this is the area that we're talking about, between 0 and 4, underneath the curve, stopping at the x-axis. So just as we did last time to find the area, I'm going to integrate from 0 to 4, because those are the given limits of integration. 
I have 1 fourth x squared minus x plus 2 with respect to x. To find that area, then I'm just going to integrate. So again, just using the power rule, I'm going to increase this by 1. So that's x cubed over 3, that same value. Times 1 fourth actually gives me x cubed over 12. I'm going to increase the 1 by 1, so that's x squared over 2. And then I'm going to increase x to the 0 by 1, which is just x to the first over 1. So that's just 2x. Again, from 0 to 4. So now to find the area, remember I start with 4. I plug it in to get 4 cubed. Um, which is 64 over 12 plus 4 squared, which is 16 over 2. Oops, that was a minus sign. And then plus 2 times 4, which is 8. If I plug in 0, just as we had on the last example, I'll get 0 and 0 and 0. So I'm just going to put minus 0. And I don't need those brackets anymore since I've already plugged in the limits of integration. So now I'm just going to do some simplification. This is 5 and 1 third. This is minus 8. This is plus 8. Minus 0 doesn't matter. So my area is 5 and 1 third units squared. I did want to remind you that, of course, your calculator is capable of finding these solutions. Now, it's not going to show you any of the work in between, which, of course, I'm going to look for. But if you want to use the calculator to check your work, you're simply going to go to math 9, and 9 is that function integration, and that's going to give you that format to plug in your value. So as you can see, I've already taken our two examples that we've done and checked my result. I had 18 and 2 thirds for the first one, which matches 18.6 repeating, and I had 5 and 1 third for the second solution, and that matches 5.3 repeating. So this was a nice short video that was a reminder of things you've learned in Calculus 1 as to how to find the area under the curve. We're going to use those strategies in our next video, finding the area between two curves. And this video is going to be longer because there are quite a few examples to get through.